This video explains how to use the head base locking mechanism on a CTEC active or cast smoke or heat detector. The base we are using for this demonstration does not have any connection terminals fitted, but obviously yours will. Each base has three breakouts. This breakout is the ID tag. This breakout is the locking mechanism. And this breakout is the release key. First we remove the locking mechanism like so and push it into its retaining slot before snapping it into position using a terminal screwdriver. Next we remove the release key and if we insert it through the slot on the side of the base you can see how the locking mechanism works. If we now place the head onto the base and twist it into position you can see that the detector is firmly locked into place to help prevent vandalism or tampering. And now you can see how easy it is to remove the head with the release key. Finally we remove the ID tag from the base. Once removed this clips into position on the underside of the base directly below where the locking mechanism is situated. On addressable systems this ID tag can be used to identify the address of the detector or on conventional systems it can be used to indicate the zone the detector is wired on. Some installers also like to colour code the ID tag so they know whether it relates to an optical, fixed heat, rate of rise or multi-sensor detector to help simplify testing and maintenance. And there you have it, the head base locking mechanism on CTEC's new active and cast fire detectors.